Hello, my name is Eileen McKusick and I am the creator of the Sonic Slider Tuning Fork, which is this right here. The Sonic Slider is kind of like a Swiss Army knife and it can be used for a lot of different things. But in this particular video, we're going to talk about how you can use it to improve your digestion and reduce food sensitivities. So I used to be the kind of person who had terrible digestion. I had gas, bloating, heartburn, indigestion, and regular stomach aches. I was extremely sensitive to dairy and to gluten and, uh, you know, a variety of other foods and really kind of lived in chronic misery because of it. And maybe some of you can relate to that. It's frustrating to not be able to eat what we want to eat, enjoy it, and comfortably digest and eliminate it. Um, fortunately, one of the many things that the Sonic Slider is good for is this, and there are several reasons for this. Uh, we talk about digestive tone and digestive rhythm. If your digestive tone is weak, you're not digesting well, you're not extracting the nutrients from your food. If your digestive rhythm is off, you might be constipated or you might have regular loose bowels. So those are two things that the tuning fork can help to correct. A vibrating tuning fork produces energy in a rhythmic kind of way. And so we're adding both tone and rhythm to the digestive tract when we use it. There are a number of ways that you can use it and I also have a number of accessories that I've created that actually make it easier. So I'm going to go through how to use the fork by itself and then the different accessories. So one simple way is to just look at an anatomy map and familiarize yourself with where your different organs are. So a good place to start is the stomach itself and to just hang out and you can just place the tip of the fork on the stomach and just kind of check in with your stomach. Close your eyes and just kind of listen and feel in and sort of gently rub the fork around into different areas. What you're looking for is places where the tissue has something that feels like an off rhythm. It might get faster or stronger or weak and gloopy. And any place where you find an anomalous vibration, which you'll feel in your fingertips, it's not subtle, you can really tell in certain places. Another thing that you're looking for is tenderness. So any place where the vibration goes funky or it feels tender, that's a place to stop and hang out. And you just want to let the vibration have a conversation with what's going on in your stomach. Because this is coherent and steady and regular, it provides the body with that information. The body adjusts its own erratic, incoherent expression in order to feel itself be coherent and rhythmic. So you can also visit your liver. And there's a lot to discover in the liver. The liver is a pretty big organ. So you can trace the fork around on the liver and find wherever that tender or nudgy spot is. Or you might find a sticky spot where the fork doesn't seem to want to slide past it. That's what I just found here. So again, I'm just going to let the vibration just play itself all the way out here. And it's going to make me want to take a breath at some point. Right? So you can just keep doing this. You can visit your kidneys, your small intestine, your large intestine. You can also take the handle and you can slide it to the best of your ability along the surface of your belly. And you can do this without clothes. You can do it with clothes, right? No matter what, you're still getting the vibration in there. So that's how you do it with that. We also have this handle extender, which adds mass to the handle. It gives you more to hold on to. I really like warming this up under hot running water, or you can wrap it in a warm washcloth. And when you get out of the shower, like this feels really good to just kind of rub all over your whole body, kind of like dry brushing. Of course, you can do that anywhere without the handle extender too. It's just the handle itself. But this makes an end that's less pokey, and so it's a little bit easier to both hold and to visit different organs, right? Something feels a little kind of off rhythm right there. 
So I'm just going to hold it there. And sometimes if you do this when you're standing, you might find that your spine wants to adjust or move or something wants to kind of stretch and reposition. Because there's usually some kind of tension here that's attached somewhere else as well. So it's good to kind of pay attention to referral, discomfort, or desire to unwind. Um, we also have these contour boots, um, and I've been playing with them in pairs lately. And this is just a nice, smooth, round edge. Um, again, it gets rid of the pokiness of the handle. And uh, what I have here, I have a little washcloth folded up on a sturdy little table, and I'm just using that as an activator. And uh, so I'm going to come and kind of explore both sides at the same time, which is kind of fun. Saves time. Tracing around. I find when I do two, it doesn't make me pay attention quite as much to the feedback I'm receiving, but it feels good to put the vibration in. And you can do that while you've got a good vibration to them, right? Just kind of. I mean, and that's just one motion. You can explore, right, using other motions as well, just kind of like a vibrating massage. And something that's really important here, too, is that everything heals with love, okay? It's so important that you don't do this in a way you're like, oh, I'm going to make myself work better, but that you really do it in a way of curiosity, like, hey, liver, how's it going? What you got going on there? Whoa, that feels a little weird. All right, let me hang out. Let me give you some love and attention really caring about your body and how it works and what it's going through. This that I'm using right here is a circuit boot and this is an amplifier that helps to amplify. So this is also a good tool to use uh, to visit different organs, to move around. Now here's the thing, you know, if you're trying to change anything, it's really important that you do it regularly, right? If you only go to the gym one day a week, you're not going to really see results. It's kind of a waste of time. So if you want to really see results using a tool like this, it's super important that you do it regularly, like every day. And what's cool is it's the sort of thing you can do while you're in the car as a passenger. You can do watching TV. You can spend five minutes when you get out of the shower. Like find the time to really provide this input for your body every day. And I, can, I can't guarantee you you're going to see a difference in your digestion, but it's highly likely. So give it a try and let us know what your results are.